Salutena Tirios exonerated us. You have documents and lists showing two, three hundred and telling you thirty-eight was issued, sixty-one was issued, twenty-three was issued, eighty was issued, eighty was issued means the rest were rejected. That's how the system works. We have receipts for all of them as well. Receipt but numbers, the numbers for all of them that went in that were approved. That may be fine, but these are the numbers. So if you have receipts, numbers, and so forth, or whatnot for things beyond the figures we have here, I would be happy to see them, my friend, because that means something went wrong. But I have to go by the figures given to us. You said that there's been no investigation into any of that, those lists, or isn't there some concern to just, even if it's just to exonerate the ministry and to say, you know what, if we have documents for 150 or 200 that were signed and all of them were recommended by UDP functionaries, by ministers of government, isn't there some concern at some point, you know what? we might want to check into this at least if we need to exonerate, uh, exonerate the ministry. Your guess is as good as mine. The Auditor General will do that. Why would I want to do that? Why I want, my concern is to make sure that every visa that's issued by that department <coughs> was issued legitimately, the fee was paid, the person satisfied the requirements, done, because that's the person coming to Belize. If somebody said, why well, bring so and so, bring so, I could, I could also tell you lots of names of people who have been requesting visa, requesting visa and everything, and they have been refused. They've been refused. Now, if you tell me that somebody was refused, you have the evidence they were refused, but they wound up getting the visa, oh yes, I launch it right now. Well, sir, even if you, you have one minister who had recommended 48 in one month, doesn't that, is there... Anybody that I've spoken to has said, you know what, that, that's kind of strange. You might be obligated for sign one or two for... Oblig for sign? To sign what? To recommendation. To sign a recommendation. But for 18 or one month, that to give you the impression, you know what, tell me there's something... What something? Money. You know, the, the, the minister is getting paid. So? How can I know that? How can I investigate By that? Investigating it. Investigate how? Calling the minister, talk to... Try and to and what you think he say? Trying to find the persons. I don't know what he'll say. You have and what will the person pay him say? You know, that's the problem with talking about corruption, you know, if you're using that. I pay you something secret. You know why I never agreed at all and will never agree on this silliness about um, 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 financial contribution for, for elections? Because I can tell you something, my friend. If money pass from one to the next without no receipt, no documentation, and so you spitting in the wind, my concern, and let it be very clear, is that if you can show me that the minister recommended for the visas, as you say, those were rejected by the department, but the persons wound up with visas are wound up coming into Belize. That's a different story. I take it up right now. But that if he recommended a hundred, I go by what the director, who's the person issuing visas, is responsible for. But however, I don't want to cast imputations on the director. I don't know the person, but might there be, as we have alluded to earlier, a parallel system? where visas are issued through the front, and those are the ones you have on that paper, but there is a back door that you can also get your visa, and this is arranged X, Y, and Z way, and you check with me later. Well, let me tell you something, Jules. If I ever find that out, and that's what the auditor may find out. When they are, that's why they are auditing, I know they are it. If I ever find that out, you will see how I deal with that, because that is totally, completely, unequivocally, unacceptable, wrong, and fraudulent. But until we have the serial number of every visa accounted for, we don't know. Exactly. And that's what the auditor is doing.